Okay, so I'm going to show you the device first. Thank you. Uh, it's very simple, uh, you know, and very effective. So this is a two balloon band with an arch on it. And uh, the two balloons are, you know, the, the tubings are different color. One is blue, as you can see here, the blue color. And the other one is clear. Uh, the radial balloon is the longer balloon, as you can see. And the ulnar balloon is the shorter balloon. The ulnar balloon goes forward like this. And the radial balloon is attached in a way that it compresses in a different direction. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to apply. So the tubings go towards the palm. We pull the sheath back a little. Uh, now this is a very tiny radial probably, so very high risk for occlusion. And we are going to position the radial balloon on the radial side. The ulnar balloon will automatically take its place. And we apply it in a very snug fashion. Take a 20 cc syringe. And the rule is very simple, tight ulnar and light radial. So we take 15 to 20 cc's of air, connect it to the ulnar balloon here on the blue and inflate it. By doing this now, you are augmenting the radial flow about 40 to 50 percent easily. We have ultrasound study showing that. We published that in invasive cardiology many years ago. Now what I typically do is I purge the radial and, and then uh, we will remove the radial sheath and as you can see here, there is hardly any bleeding at all. I will do the usual patent hemostasis protocol where we are allowing a little bit of bleeding and then we inject just enough air in the radial to stop that bleeding. As you can see, the radial side should look a little bit messy. That means you did the right thing. You did not compress too much and you watch it. Now if you start seeing some bleeding, you can always add a little more air. So again, I added about a half a cc to one cc and you optimize it. And if we have the pulse oximeter now, uh, yes. it's on the other side, right? So the ulnar is completely compressed. I can, I can. Yeah. So we are getting radial hemostasis completely. We are not compromising it. Right? And then we will see what happens here. Yeah, so on the screen, screen. we will see, yeah. yeah. So the one thing we are seeing is that ulnar is definitely fully compressed because right now there is no plethysmographic signal. Now if here, if you had just applied the radial only band, you would 100% get occlusion. So we're going to leave this room here with no pleth and then I can guarantee you that in five minutes in the recovery room, the radial will start flowing. Now, if you have a one platter band, the radial will be gone for good because ulnar will not be augmenting the radial flow. And you can see how, how amazingly good it looks, but the radial is not flowing. You need to make the radial flow. So I am adjusting it constantly, and I will do this over the next five minutes. These are the highest risk radials. They will close on you, and next time you come, they are gone. So tomorrow when we bring her back, we'll try to show if the radial is open or not. So well, let's. Uh, fantastic, yeah, Sam. Uh, Sam, one quick question. Uh, different sizes or just one size fits all? So, two sizes. One, this is the 26 centimeter, and then there is a 29 centimeter for very large hand. Her hand is very, very small, actually, but the 26 fits well. And for the left radial, you just flip it the other way around? No, we have a left radial band also, but you could flip this and it works as good as uh, you would use any other band. So, and if you don't believe in ulnar compression, you can use it as a radial band. <laughs> that, that's you, fantastic. you don't have to worry about the ulnar balloon if you don't want to. But I, I, I can prove you, you know, to you that ulnar balloon does more work. Like I said earlier, it is the balloon pump of the radial artery. It will keep the radial artery open. And if you have ulnar access, can you use this as a primary ulnar band? Absolutely, yes. Because we always access the ulnar very distal, and so the balloon is right there where it needs to be compressed. Well, Sam, congratulations on the device. I think it's just fantastic. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.